guys, what's up? What's going on? It is Lee here again with another video for you. And guess what? I went to the Mac store for the first time yesterday. Mm hmm I conquered. I went in. I was brave. And the lady who helped me was fantastic. Her name was Kayla. So, Kayla, if you're watching, hi. Don't know if she watches YouTube videos, but she was so nice. And she had really, really long, like, golden locks. And I was like, your hair is beautiful. My first ever Mac purchase want to share with you guys because I'm so stoked. Oh, my gosh. Before I get into the Mac stuff, I also went into Sephora. Yeah, and I know I just filmed this ginormous, big, fat, collective beauty haul. But the reason I went into Sephora was to pick up one main thing that I didn't get during Chic Week. And they were completely out of. And, lo de hold, it is this beautiful thing called the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette that I'm wearing today. Ooh, it's so fancy. And I have some major eyeshadow creasage. Oh my gosh. I didn't use a primer potion today, so that's why. Anyways, the reason why I went back and purchased the beautiful Boudoir Eyes palette was because of a fellow subber on YouTube, and she did a review on this product, and I was like, girl, I need to go get that. These, of course, are the gorgeous shades. They're so pretty. So the colors we have here is a matte cream color, which is called In the Buff. That's what it looks like. And then this one right here is called Satin Sheets. And it's a really nice pinky champagne kind of color. Down here is called Birthday Suit. And it's a really nice kind of taupey kind of gold looking color. And then we have Fuzzy Handcuffs. Which is like a light kind of cream color. And then we have Sugar Walls which is like... I think going to be one of my favorite colors, and it's a really nice kind of silver purple. Arter Belt, which is like a beautiful, like, matte gray lap dance, and it's more of like a silver color. And then the last one we have is called French Tickler, but it's a really nice kind of black with like some crazy sparkle. You guys see that? Oh my god, the palette is just absolutely so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I have um, satin sheets all over my lid. And then I have in the buff onto my upper crease, lap dance, smudge into my crease, and then a little tiny bit of voulez-vous out on the outer corner. And then the other little thing I picked up from Sephora was a little sample size of the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argon Oil because everybody says it's really, really good. And I'm really glad I found this in a sample size. It's a decent sized little bottle. Um, so if you ever have any like scars or you need some intense moisturizer or something. It's crazy. Drip, drip, drip. I don't want to waste it, but... It doesn't really smell like anything. I've yet to try it on anything. If anybody has any suggestions of what I try the argan oil on, like on my body, or like should I, should I, should I try it in my hair, or give me some suggestions if you've tried this product, and we'll see how that goes. And then they gave me just a couple little samples in the store. I got the Bare Minerals Ready SPF Foundation Sample and a little sample of their Foundation Prime Time, which I have a, a bigger deluxe sample too. And actually, it's not a bad primer. So I got that. And then they gave me this Ren, Ren Glycol Laxid, some kind of little mask sample. If you guys want to read it, there you go. Are you done yet? Okay, good. <laughs> because now we're getting into the crazy awesome stuff. I went into Mac and the girl was really really sweet really helpful her name's Kayla and she was beautiful she had long really nice gold hair and I said it's my first time and she's like oh no problem she's like browse around I'm not going to intimidate you and I was like okay <laughs> so I got to browse around and I swatched some blushes and I swatched a bunch of stuff and she was over helping me and she took me to like the mirror and put stuff on and it was it was it was great 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 first time at Mac I keep on to show you the bag look at the bag look at the bag look at the bag ah! You guys know what a MAC bag looks like. I bought three MAC lipsticks on my first trip. That's a lot, isn't it? But whatever. I got suckered in. And the first guy I'm going to talk to you guys about is Hugh. Because everybody had been talking about this and I wanted to see it close up. And it's not because it was a fave and it's not because it was raved. I bought it because I liked the color. And this is what Hugh looks like. And it's a really nice kind of subtle baby mauvey pink and it's so freaking beautiful it's kind of almost a nude color too 
But that right there, if you guys can see, is Hugh. And he's so pretty. Oh, and I'm just so excited about the MAC lipstick packaging. Oh, I'm all expensive now. And the next one, I did not buy also because if it was faved and because it was raved, this guy is Angel. It's not because it's like Kim K's fave or whatever. I bought it because I liked the color. Okay? I liked the color. And it's one of the prettiest pinks I have ever seen in my life. It is so pretty. Now, it may look similar to Hue on the camera. It's not, though. And I will swatch it. The sad Hue so y'all can see. Y'all can see. <laughs> I am Canadian. We say A. But that is Angel right there. A lot of people are saying that Angel looks really similar to um, Pink Pout. This one's Angel. The top one's Angel. To Pink Pout. That's what Pink Pout looks like. But I'll swatch it so you guys can see. Because I was kind of like, oh, I don't know how similar it's going to be. The top one right there is Revlon, and this guy is Angel. So as you guys can see, Revlon is a lot more, like, crazy, like, hot kind of pink sort of color. And Angel's like, a really nice kind of, like, baby pink. So those are the differences between the two. If you guys are wondering, it's still a pretty dang good dupe. Um, however, this guy is completely matte, and then... Angel is a cream sheen. No, it's a frost. Sorry, it's a frost finish. And the last one I checked out and actually bought a fellow subber. Shout out to her. She's just starting making videos and she's beautiful. Love ya. It's awesome. Her name is X Camilla Rose. I'm going to put it down here so you guys can pause it and top it up in the search bar. She's beautiful. Her videos are really, really good. And she did a makeup haul recently, and she bought this color. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in your haul, girl. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But she, I was asking her. I commented on her video, and I said, "What color do you think I should get?" And she suggested this color, and it's called Brave. It was just so pretty. I had to snatch me some, and it's a really, really nice color. And this is a. It's a satin finish. And that's what Brave looks like. And it's so pretty. And thank you so much, girl, for the recommendation. Literally, like, I put it on my lips. And I fell in love. And I said, oh, my God, that girl knows how to pick lipstick. You should go check out her channel and go check out her hauls because they're awesome. So I only got two more things from MAC that I'm going to show you guys because everybody was talking to rave about these things called MAC blushes. Yeah. I did not buy the famous pink swoon or well-dressed. No, I didn't. I bought one that was really pretty, and I didn't know what color it was. Like, it was basically like this on the shelf. And I was like, what is that color? It's called, if you guys can read it, probably not. It's called Fleur Power. And I'll show you on the box. Fleur Power. It looks like a dozen different blushes that I own and that I have, but it is the most prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And I feel like so excited to have a MAC blush. That's what it looks like. And it's a matte finish. There's no sparkle whatsoever. I think it's a matte finish. Is it a matte finish? It's a powder blush. It doesn't say what kind of finish it has or whatever. It's, it, it's not like a shimmery blush. But that's the color right there on my hand. It is so pretty. So I'm really, really happy I got my fancy MAC blush. Will I go get more? Probably. And then the last thing I picked up from MAC was a mineralized skin finish that everybody had been raving about. And I wanted to test out and see if I liked it. And the girl put it on my cheeks. Obviously, it's beautiful. But I want to see how it compares to something else I have. Because if I don't like it and it's a complete dupe, I actually think I might return it. I wanted to see how it compares to um, Tiki from Hard Candy. Because they're really quite similar. So that's Tiki. And then I want to see how the mineralized skin finish compares or whatever. It might be a dupe. I don't know. So that's what soft and gentle looks like. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch it side by side so you guys can see the difference. Oh, definitely not. So as you guys can see, this guy is soft and gentle and it's a more like pinky kind of one. And then this guy is tiki. I wish you guys could see in better lighting. Maybe from afar. No? Sort of. Soft and gentle, tiki, darker, lighter, difference in color too. Cool, that's different because I was scared that it was going to be the same, so I am going to keep it. Oh, so pretty. 
But yeah, I'm really, really happy with my first MAC purchase. I am so stoked. I will definitely be going back to get more. If there's anything you guys recommend blush-wise down below, I don't think I'm going to be branching out into eyeshadows anytime soon or paint pots because I have so many Maybelline color tattoos and ones by Benefit. But um, definitely, definitely if there's any more blushes or MSFs you guys think I should check out, I want to check out the MSF Natural next time. I just didn't have a chance to get to it today and find my right color. But if you guys think the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Naturals would be um, a good thing for me to check out too, comment down below and let me know. That's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys have a great, fantastic spring day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!